Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Beach Cities Thrifting. So I'm here in the parking lot of my favorite thrift shop and it's really, really busy. So I don't know if it's the thrift shop that's really busy or the church next door that gives out free groceries on Mondays and Fridays to those that need a helping hand. Hey, sometimes I'd like to grab a loaf of bread as well. <laughs> anyway, but I'm looking for a couple things in particular. If you saw my last video, I'd love to find another one of those docks and bookends. Those are really, really cool. I haven't listed the other one, but there's a lot of interest in it, but I want to hold on to it a little bit longer to see if I can find a match to it. Anyway, but besides that, I probably won't get a cart if it's busy. I'll walk around. If I need a cart, then I'll get one. But uh, let's go see. Let's go see what we can find. And I'm taking you along with me. Let's go. So I almost got to the front door. I don't know if anyone else is like me, but you know when you're so busy getting out of the car and racing in someplace, you forget if you've locked the door or not. So I'm going to go back and click my car to make sure that I clicked it. Okay, maybe I'm the only one that <laughs> happens to. I love to travel, but when I'm not sailing the high seas, my next favorite thing to do is thrifting. So come along with me as I search for travel treasures or anything else I can flip for a profit to sell in my online stores. Join me for a little bit of travel talk and a whole lot of thrifting. And of course, I'd love to hear the rest of his song, but I don't want to get a copyright strike. So let's go shopping. I've got to show you these. Look at these. They're Alice in Wonderland. I wanted them so bad until I saw that they're $5 each. Oh my gosh, but look how fabulous. Oh. Alice in Wonderland is a really big seller. Look at that. I don't even want to look them up because, well, maybe I should. Look at that. These are absolutely beautiful. Look inside. I'm going to look them up just for the heck of it. So I couldn't find the exact mugs, but I'd probably list them $42 to $50 and see what would happen. How's your day going? Very busy. Very busy. I know. Well, you have a sale today, so so this comes with the the salt and pepper inside already. What's sitting on the cart by itself? It's a bluebird of happiness. Look how cute! How much is he? He's two dollars. He's even signed. Oh my gosh! Beautiful. Let me make sure he's not chipped. Absolutely beautiful. Come to me, little bluebird of happiness. Look at that, he's signed. 1987 for $2. I don't think he's chipped. And take a look at these beautiful Pier 1 glasses. These are fabulous. They're the Blue. scroll model. And look at those Green. stems, they're so colorful. Red and green. They're three dollars, but everything's half price right now for Christmas. So this is on the Christmas show, so I'm definitely gonna pick that up. So it's really busy right now, but look at these cute hand-painted little glasses with a little ladybug. They're actually signed. I can't see whose name that is, but they're only two dollars. We'll look closer, make sure there are no chips or cracks, but there's a set of two. Look how cute that is with the ladybug though. I'm going to pick them up. I also found a Carnival Cruises picture frame for $2. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick this up or not. But you know, me and my cruise stuff. So I'm on the end cap and I see this. This looks exactly like a Jim Shore. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that painting. Absolutely fabulous. It's got to be a Jim Shore. But it looks like he's holding something that's not there. It looks like something's missing. Let's see how much it costs. Okay, let's. 
$8. But well, it looks like it's a sailboat that's missing, and it would have been worth $69. Hmm, too bad. And if you're enjoying my video, be sure and subscribe. And if you hit the bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So, of course, I'm back looking. And look what I found. These are the best ones. They're heavy. Now, they're $4 a piece. That doesn't scare me because this whole set was oh, a set of four. This should go for about $99. These are the best. Look at that. These are the best that you could buy. These are Pier 1. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely picking these up. I needed to have one more look at them on the shelf. So pretty. What a great find. So these look like the glasses from Finland, but if, when I look closer, it's Southern Living Home. I mean, they have a nice sell-through. Right? Oh my gosh, look at all these. Looks like someone had a set of like 20 in here. So I just looked them up and a set of four on eBay sold for $54. I may have to go back and pick up a few of these. They're only $2 a piece. Hmm. King's Crown Cranberry? Maybe there's, they're $4 a piece. Oh my gosh. Break it. There's another one down here. I love these. I'll check out the condition. They're four dollars, but um, Christmas is half price today. I think these are King's Crown. Might this might be fun to get a set of these, possibly for replacements as well. Let me see what they're going for. So I just looked these up. They resell for about $10 a piece. It's a nice piece of glass. I like it, but um, there's really no value in it for $4 a piece. But this, what is this? Orange County. Oh, I thought this was a military. Nope, it's not. So when I got home, I saw that my neighbor was having a little impromptu yard sale. So of course I had to go over and check out and see what she was selling. Look how beautiful this color is. I did find a few things. Let me show you what I found. I picked up this beautiful mother of pearl and brass trinket box and then some tortoise glasses and this doorbell that's a gecko. Isn't that cool? And then I looked through a couple more boxes, wanted to make sure I wasn't missing anything, and I found one more item. Let's see, which box is it in? Let's see. Aha! I think it's in this red box. Right here. Take a look at this brass card holder. Absolutely beautiful. It had a lot of patina on the back as well. I only paid a dollar for that. <laughs> One just sold on eBay for $56. <laughs> so I just got back from thrifting and now I'm in my kitchen. I'm excited. I wanted to get all of my items processed so that I can get them listed ASAP. So I thought I'd do my haul here as some of my glasses are drying. But let me show you a few things that I found today that you saw me find while I was thrifting. So. So today on the cart, I found these beautiful martini glasses. Look how lovely these are. They're hand painted. And then on the bottom, look at that. They have a little applied ladybug. Now I have it, they are signed. See that I need to do a little more research, but these were $2 a piece and I got them right off the cart, but aren't those lovely? Now these hold six ounces of martini or whatever you wanna put in these. Now you saw me find these on the Christmas shelf. These are Pier 1, the Scroll Rioja martini glasses. And look how pretty that teal is. So I found two teal. Aren't those nice? And then one blue, as you see, and then one purple. I was hoping I'd find a red, but that's okay. So I'm gonna sell these all together. These were $3, but today was a Christmas special for 50% off. So I only spent $6 on the whole set. Aren't these beautiful? These will probably resell for about $42, $48.
so nice. And then my most favorite thing of all that you saw me find also on the Christmas shelf are these beautiful Pier 1 red swirl glasses. Now I, I sell a lot of these. Now this is one of Pier 1's most expensive swirl glasses, and you can see this is like a big goblet. This, this holds 16 ounces of wine, or if you want to use it as a water goblet, absolutely beautiful. This set, because they are the specialty of Pier 1, this goes for about $99. So because these are the larger goblets, they're really sought after. So pretty. And when I came home, my neighbor was having a little garage sale and I found these tortoise shell design glasses. And these are hand blown. I paid two dollars each i got a set of five although one of these are shaped a little differently i'm still going to sell them all though as a group of five even though this one's shaped a little differently i'm going to throw that in anyway, but those are really beautiful and then i found this gecko this metal gecko doorknob look how cool that is and the last thing i bought today was this brass card holder. I paid a dollar for this. Look at this. The back of it really has a lot of patina. I'm not touching it. I'm, let, I'm letting the buyer do whatever they want to do with it. But one of these just sold on eBay for $42. So I'm excited about that. Anyway, so here's my haul that you saw today. But I want to get these processed so that I can sell them to you. So be sure to check out my Etsy store where all these items are for sale now. Thank you so much for watching and as always, ciao for now.